Hey, it's Lar, ASMR, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to go through my beauty routine. As you can probably see, I don't have any makeup on my face right now, so I was going to take you through step by step. I uh, usually don't wear much makeup at all, to be honest, but when I do, uh, this is the full regimen and all the steps that I take to get my face ready for the day. So, hope you enjoy. So, first, I usually like to start out with an eye depuffing gel for little bags that can occur under my eyes. So, I do have Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage Depuffing Gel. Take a little bit of this and this little bit of my finger here. Okay. So just a little bit here. It's nice and thick so it does take a minute or so for it to come on out. And then I'll just apply it. I don't know why when we put on makeup we always open our mouths, but it's almost impossible not to do that. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get a little bit more here for the other eye. It's a good amount again. And it's best for it to get absorbed if you pat it like this so that it can really absorb into the skin there. Rather than trying to rub it in, it does not absorb nearly as well when you do it that way. Putting it all the way up into the corners of my eye on both sides to really seep in to most people's baggage problem area. Now that I do have that uh, foundation for my bags, typically what I'll do is take, I really like CoverGirl uh, for my under eye concealer cream. CoverGirl. I use Clean Invisible Concealer. And using my No More Baggage uh, cream for that foundation component helps this to really stick in place and be absorbed easier. I take this and just dab it. Around my eyes. Very similar to what I was doing with the other gel as well. Kind of follows that same pattern. Some people use um, either a tissue or some use the little bits of film. I do have one of those films. 
Typically I use that more on the rest of my skin, right here in the eyes. I will just dab using my fingers. It does take some patience because uh, you really need to not rub it in. I know it's very tempting to do that because it's a lot faster, but it does not absorb as well or work as well when you do that. So good to just go through and dab it. I feel like I look like the start of makeup from some kind of a superhero or something. So then I'm going to look up just to make sure I get all the areas right around my eyes. So you can see it takes some time, but it will start to really rub in and be absorbed with your skin. And blends in really, really nicely when you do it this way. using the same screen uh, to watch what I'm doing, so I apologize for having to look down at the screen once in a while. I got a little bit on my nose there, but that's okay. That won't hurt it. You always want to go up to the bridge area of your nose so that it blends in across so that you get a nice even tone as well. I can't stop keeping my mouth open. Rubbing in really, really nicely now. So when guys wonder why makeup can take so long, it's because of the dabbing process. Blended in, just have a little bit of extra right here on the sides. This can be easy to miss, so always good to kind of zoom in a little bit on what you're doing to make sure it's rubbed in really, really well. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I like the way it's working. So next, what I typically do is mold that in, um, or blend that in, I should say, with the rest of my skin here. As you can see, my skin gets um, pretty rosy all on its own. Uh, so I do like to make sure that that blends in well with my under eye concealer as well. And I really do enjoy this uh, True Blend. It's also by CoverGirl. I'm a big fan of CoverGirl products overall. And I do use this one with the little foam. Uh, so I'll be using that to kind of blend and dab this into my skin. So. You can see the product. And this is CoverGirl. 17 warm beige. It looks like it's 17. It might be getting worn off to be honest with you. This stuff lasts me forever because I do use it very sparingly as well. Don't wear much makeup or makeup very often, honestly. So this is lasting me quite some time, so the label is fading a little bit. I do have my little bit of foam here, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on to the foam. It's wanting to bite me right now. Oh, there we go. 
just a little bit. As you can see, just a little bit is good. And then I just kind of blend it all into the foam so it doesn't get clumpy. So now it's all throughout my foam. And then I'll just use this to lightly blend in the rest of my skin. I like to make it even. So I'm just rubbing a little bit into all the different areas. And then I'll go through really dabbing it into place. You want to make sure that you do blend it in well uh, with what you just put on under your eyes for your regular um, under eye concealer. And then also blending it into the neck so that you don't have any kinds of crazy discoloration lines. You want this to be just an extension of your natural skin tone. So I did pick the beige because it is as close as possible to my natural skin, skin tone, um, except for, of course, my very rosy cheeks. Once again, dabbing instead of rubbing is much better, especially for consistency's sake. And then making sure you don't get any kinds of clumping anywhere or any areas that don't absorb the moisture well. You really want the two under eye concealer and any of the cover up cream. To absorb together and blend well. This is looking great. It blends everything in, but still leaves a little bit of my naturally rosy cheek. It doesn't overwhelm my regular skin tone or contrast too much with my natural skin tone, which is great. You don't want it to be too extreme. It looks pretty good, pretty smooth and even, which is exactly what we want it to look like. Now to add a little bit of definition into the skin, um, and also to add just a little bit of my coloration back, because as you can see that paled my face a little bit, and I do have more of that olive skin tone. I do have, I know it'll be surprising, CoverGirl Bronzer. So this, let's see if I can still read the label. It's CoverGirl Clean Normal Pressed Powder, number 155, Soft Honey. So this is the Soft Honey color. You don't want the light to shine too brightly into you. So I'm just going to lightly put this along the natural creases so that I have the definition and natural changes to my skin tone that reflect what my skin would naturally look like, but it's now all gonna be blended really nicely together. So I have a nice little brush here.
and get a little bit of our bronzer. So you don't want to go too much, you don't want to go too heavy. This should again look very natural. So just have a bit on here. And then I'll just lightly blend that right into my skin here to help create some of that natural definition that I already have. I do that both sides. It should be just under your cheekbone here. Kind of just hugging your cheekbone. And then so everything blends pretty well, I will add a little bit to my forehead, my nose, a little bit into to my cheeks and chin. So that it does all blend together really well. Perfect. At this point, honestly, my skin is all done. So now I am just going to move on to my eyes. Prepare for my mouth to be open again. So I do have a gel pencil liner by Maybelline, actually, not CoverGirl this time. And it's a Tattoo Studio and Crayon Gel, <clears throat> number 900, Deep Onyx. So just going to lightly rub this over both my eyes and then gently and subtly for my underlid as well for the mouth open phenomenon as we've seen before. Do just a gentle pull so it goes on nice and evenly. I start with that inner corner area and just follow gently along the line. Nice and even, nice and gentle. And it's okay if it's not on perfect, because we're going to smooth it out. But it just kind of follows along the line here. A little bit more, I think. And just follow it all the way out to the end. That looks pretty good, but we will be blending that also with a little bit of um, the shadow in just a moment. So we'll continue on the other side here. And you want to be cautious so that you don't go too heavy or too light because now is when you really want it to match whatever you've done on the other eye. That looks pretty even overall. And again, it will smooth out once I put on the uh, eyeshadow as well. So first, let's go for that under eye a little bit. Again, starting off at the corner, pulling the lid down a little bit so we don't get ourselves in the eyeball. And just that nice light little bit. Oh, perfect. And both sides need a little bit more. Always want to make sure that it's nice and even. Overall, pretty good. Maybe just a touch more. Good. And now my eyeliner is done. So, next I have a beautiful color palette right here. As you can see, different browns, pinks, and golds. And I think that I'm going to go with this nice pink color. It's pretty nice and shimmery. And I'm just going to go again from the corner out. I'm going to dab a little bit more on. And from the corner on out. And just kind of smooth that over the line. And that's what helps smooth that eyeliner line that you put on so that's not too thick in any areas. 
I'm going to do the same on the other side. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little bit that tangles in your eyelashes. I think that looks perfect, just how I like it. Now, I will say, some people do use some of these other colors here. I have a little bit of eyeliner on there. Um, in the creases of their eyes, just to really make their eyes pop, especially at night. That's uh, part of the shadow look. Um, however, I'm not looking to do the shadow look in this particular moment. So I think I'm done with this look. This is more of a daytime look. And lastly, we want to do the mascara. So we're back to CoverGirl, and this is the Super Sizer Big Curl Hydrafuge, and let's see, it's the very black Tres Noir, or Tre Noir. This is definitely when you're going to see the mouth open. <laughs> so. I'm just going to put it on the top of my eyelashes first because you do want to coat uh, the top part of your eyelash as well as that part that really sticks out in front of your face, it makes it overall more even and look more full. So I start right on the top. takes several times of going over your lashes for them to really get coated sometimes. something I like to do a lot of people use eyelash curlers but I've had a lot of trouble with those they've actually caused a lot of crimping to happen in my eyelashes that I don't like um, so instead what I do I just take a little tissue and I will just while the mascara is still kind of wet it's just been applied I will just lightly lift the lashes and kind of push against the base of my base of my eyelashes and that helps to give it a more natural uh, kind of a curl Now I'm just going to do a little bit along the bottom here. <laughs> that mouth open phenomenon is always so funny. Beautiful, and that eye is completed. So now we'll go with my left eye. Once again, 
along the top part of your eyelashes first to get that nice coating in. And then you can go along the underside to the part that really stands out when people look at you. As you can see, I'm kind of lifting my lash and blinking at the same time, so it really runs all the way through my eyelashes. Good. So now they're nice and well coated. I'm going to do the same thing with my tissue here and just make sure I give them a nice little lift. Which helps to give that nice and natural curl. Lovely. And going to finalize with doing the under eye. Perfect. And just applying a smidge more on top. And at this point, I am ready to go and enjoy my day. So that completes uh, the beauty segment for today. How I apply my makeup, as you can see, I don't wear very much. And I do keep it uh, very natural. That's my preference. Um, I do have different products from a couple of different companies. As you could tell, a lot are CoverGirl. And then I also do have that Dr. Brandt for the No More Baggage Cream. Love how that looks and works on my eyes. And I do actually have a lip gloss that I was going to put on to complete. And I don't always wear this, but this lip gloss here. It's actually from Target. And it's just a beauty lip gloss. Comes an entire lip gloss pack. And it's nice and pink. Just lightly put it along my lips. I love that color. Nice and light and pink. And again, lots of cover girl. Like my cover up here. And then my bronzer, my mascara were also CoverGirl. And then I did have the Maybelline eyeliner, which I love. It's a nice pencil that you can continue to use as long as you shave it down. And let's see. It actually doesn't say where the eyeshadow is from on here anymore. I don't know if the label was ever even on there, to be honest with you. So I do apologize about that. But I do hope that you enjoyed this little makeup ASMR tutorial. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.